So, I had an issue just trying to boot up this um, AORS X570 board. I have honestly left the, honestly I had an old BIOS in there, it was very old. Oof. And I had it in there and I tried to update it to the app and then I think I ran uh, two biases and corrupted it. So I'm fighting with this thing for a day. I finally got it booted, but I needed the, um, the F32 because I'm running the 5600. I tried every other uh, BIOS out there. Let me switch over. It's got display port. So I ran, oh, I switched the mouse. the mouse back and forth over here. Bear with me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, X570. Oh, crap. Get the hell out of here. Let's open this up big. So, I put in back F32. That's when the uh, 5000 started coming in because I tried all of the, the um, G. 34, 35, 36, 30, you know, all the way up. And I tried them all, and I reset the CMOS all the time and everything. But it looks like if you have the issues and you can't load into your BIOS, and you got a 5000, put back in the F32 after all the steps, you know? And of course, take everything out the board. I mean, I just put everything back in, but take everything out. The, uh, processor, everything, everything plugged in. I left it bolted to the chassis and I uh, made sure, of course, leave my um, main power ribbon and, of course, the uh, 12 volts that goes in. But besides that, it's back to normal. I'm happy. I thought I had to get another motherboard. Alright, guys. Remember, F32. The sign did come with clear CMOS. Let's get to that. Alright, so. It is working fine. Alright, later y'all.